The colour, the passion, the derby. There is nothing quite like it. Two teams forever linked by history. But what does the immediate future have in store for them? Comprehensive coverage coming right up live on EA TV. And here we are just to the southeast of the Madrid city centre. The venue for this match is the Estadio de Vallecas. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Rayo Vallecano, and they take on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And playing it through. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, that is a superb save. Rudiger. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supporting the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. Blocked it brilliantly. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with David Alaba as fullbacks. Tony Kroos starts alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Oh, nice ball over the top. And cleared away. Well, the Merengues have been wonderfully free scoring this season. Just look at the record to back that up. Well, away from home, their ability to create chances and score goals has been fantastic. Well, the chance is on, Stuart. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Who can he pick out? Well, still an issue here. Are they going to forge ahead? My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. <laughs> Elects to go short. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. Can he make it 1 0? In it goes! A well taken penalty! Let's look at that again. And he's very unlucky. He chooses the right way, but he just goes beyond it. The ball goes underneath him. The penalty taker gets lucky on this occasion. Action underway once more. A wake-up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Now, this could be productive. And a fine cross. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there.
2-0 now and back on the way Rodrigo Rudiger has it Chouameni David Alaba oh nice ball and players waiting in the centre chance to reduce the arrears a goal just what they needed still plenty of life in this match well it's a very simple finish in the end but his movement was really good he just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Just cutting off the supply. Value. Easy. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And doing his opponent. And thumped away. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Vinicius Junior. Oh, great vision. Rodrigo. And he read it well defensively. And can they exploit the space out wide? Chance to cross. Lopez. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. A oh, nice ball over the top. Now, who can he pick out? Oh, a goal! They've done it! Quite the comeback, this! Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Garcia. Playing it back. He's blocked it. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Keen to take it short here. Good use of advantage by the referee. Lejeune. hit it with authority a smart stop here corner kick played in goalkeeper's ball it was always going to be that way Jude Bellingham here's Valverde Tony Kroos a oh, tremendous vision good looking cross well, no danger now Ivan Valiu Isi oh good play this Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Can he put them in front? What a block! Oh, 
was spot on with that challenge. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Lopez. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. So half-time here, a very keenly contested first half, but they cannot be separated. Your thoughts on Real Madrid's performance up to this point? Yeah, as we said before the game, they look like scoring every time they get the ball into the top third of the pitch. But today, they also look like they're going to concede. So the side that defends better in the second 45 minutes will probably win this game. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And danger averted. Well read. Good example of pressing without the ball. Vinicius Junior. Oh, he'll take it on. Oh, there it is. Incredible. How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? Well, let's take another look because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Espino. Garcia. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Shaping to shoot. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. And over it comes. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Really getting stuck in. The supporters want to see him have a go. And a decent save. Full credit. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it was a crowded penalty area, but the keeper has done well to hold on to that. Garcia. And support available. Oh, it's a really well-timed challenge. Had no interest in losing possession. Chance to cross. Lopez, and still danger here, and a goal at the second time of asking, but the keeper has let his team down. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Federico Valverde. Here's Carvajal. Rodrigo. 
Valverde. Now with Rodrigo. Course. Course. And it's in. The back in front. Stunning scenes here. Well, here's another look. And you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. about this 4-3 Espino Unai Lopez and getting the ball forward and the cross goes in pretty comfortable piece of defending now can they hit them on the counter that's a good ball they need to get bodies back. Espino. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Can he do it? Well, couldn't put it away. They still lead, however. Well, he really should be working the goalkeeper there. It's a great chance to score. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Unai Lopez. It's with Lopez. Now, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Makes the move to the inside. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Oh, it's an unbelievable save by Courtois. Short corner, let's see. Now well, that's a moment he would like to have back, if possible. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Federico Valverde. Lucas Vasquez taking it forward. Couldn't keep it. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Ten minutes to go then. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Bebe. Well, still pushing forward. It's a matter of whether or not they can come up with an equaliser. This could level it. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. So making the substitution now. And played short. And played in.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Get too many scorelines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. Camavinga. This is Alaba. Tony Kors. Eduardo Camavinga. Here's Valverde. Oh, that one has promise. If Real Madrid could come up with a winner at this... And a goal! moment on a special occasion well let's take another look and it's not good enough defensively they're slow to react don't get tight enough and don't deal with the situation and there's the outcome to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4 and the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order Oscar Valentin Oscar Trejo giving it their all in search of an equaliser and that's very good refereeing to let the play flow and keeping it out Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Trying to deliver it accurately. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. And there's the full-time whistle. Maximum points for Real Madrid. Well, they'll play a lot better than they did today and not win the game. But they stayed focused, showed a lot of character and eventually got a very good result. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, all smiles as he grabs the match ball. He just had too much for the opposition today. They just couldn't handle him.